Today, we are gonna be making a chip and dip bowl. John the Potter, and this is my buddy Ryder. Today, we are gonna be making a chip and dip bowl. So it has a big bowl on the bottom and a little bowl that's attached on the top. And I call it chip and dip, but you can use it for a ton of different stuff. You can use it for veggies, dip, chips and salsa. It's a great functional piece that we sell a lot of. So we'll see you in the studio. All right, we're in the studio, and we're gonna be throwing the parts to the chip and dip bowl. So what we need is a big piece of clay, or a bigger piece of clay for the base, and then we need a smaller piece of clay for the top bowl that sits on the base. So this can be anywhere from two to five pounds. So this we're just gonna throw like a regular big bowl, and then when we're done, we'll fold in the side so that the other bowl can just sit right on top of it. When I throw, I like to cone it up like this, because that helps get the clay really consistent and then push it down. All right, now I'm gonna put the hole in the middle and then start bringing it out. And then when I want, I have the, about the size of the base that I want, then I can start bringing up the sides. So what I'm doing right now is just pinching that clay, starting from the bottom, and then applying really even pressure all the way up. Now I just want the bowl a little bit wider, so as I'm pulling up this time, I'll just make it a little bit wider. And I think that's about good for the base of it. I'll put a spiral in the middle. Which I like to do in most of my pieces, that gives it the glaze a really cool effect. And then the last thing I'll do, which I could wait until it's a little drier, but I'll do it right now for the video, is just bend one of the edges in. And I just do that and I make it a really nice bowl shaped right there. So that when I throw my littler bowl, I can just sit right in there. So there's the big bowl. So the next thing we gotta throw, the little bowl that goes on top. So this is a little less than one pound and we're just gonna throw a normal regular bowl and then we'll make it really bowl-like on the bottom when we trim it. So once again, just gotta start by getting it centered. Here we go. That one's done. Okay, so now our bowl is dry enough that we can flip it over. So we're gonna trim the bottom. So the first thing you gotta do when you trim is get it right in the center. And I always start by making the foot so I'll come in from the side. Come in from the side this way and then come in from the side this way and that makes a really nice foot. And then there's always a little bit of weight right in here so I'll take a little bit off the bottom. Then 
I'll take a different, slightly wider tool and make just a perfectly flat rim. And then I'll come at it from an angle to just make it a little bit nicer of a foot. There we go. So we also have to trim this bowl, which is what will go on top of the chip and dip. So this I'm gonna trim so it's really round, so it just sits right in the lower base. We got our bowl, it's all trimmed and ready to go. We got our little bowl, which is all trimmed. So now, we just need to attach this and this together. So the first thing I do is I always score the bottom of this. So basically that means I'm just putting scratches right here. And then I'll scratch the bottom of this where this is gonna lay. So I think that's a good spot. Right like that. So then I'll scratch the bottom of this guy. And then, it's gotta load on, slip, which is really liquidy clay, and that acts as glue as it dries. So I'll apply it to both sides there. And then I'll have some extra clay with me, some extra pieces of clay like this, for a couple reasons, as we stick this on there, it won't stay just by itself, so we need to support it with another piece of clay, like that. And then what I like to do is take a few little pieces of clay and then roll it up and actually stick pieces under there and smooth it out so that it's nice, looks nice, and that there's a really strong connection. So then I'll just continue to smooth it out. So we'll let this dry completely, and then we'll fire it, and then it'll come out and we'll glaze it. Thanks for watching.